Hello there, welcome in. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm gonna to be diving into the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm sure you heard this is the newest launch from Charlotte Tilbury and it is a foundation, like I said. And the name, Beautiful Skin, I can't believe that no one has created a foundation named Beautiful Skin before this. I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup today, including the new foundation and a couple of other new products. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly, this is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Today I have the new Beautiful Skin Foundation, another product from Charlotte Tilbury that I got in November during the Sephora sale, the Pillow Talk, quad. I'm trying a new blush. This just came in from Laura Geller. Isn't that just so very pretty? In my foundation order from Charlotte Tilbury, I got a little sample of the Push Up Lashes Mascara. We're going to hop right into the makeup today, and as always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop into it. This is the box that the Beautiful Skin Foundation came in. This retails for $44. I think there are 30 shades in the line, one ounce and made in Italy. If you've watched any other reviews on this Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, you might have heard that there's some pretty wild claims on the box and it's absolutely true. It says, boost hydration by up to 166%. Really? <laughs> Skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%. I always look sideways when they say up to because that means it could start from zero and go all the way up to that number. But how do you get to 181%? I don't understand. Skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. When I see something like this, I know there was a marketing meeting and everybody was sitting around the table, all the guys from the marketing department and maybe product development and Charlotte, and they're all deciding if they're going to put this on the box. I want to know who voted for and who against. Here we have the container, and it's one of those squeezy tubes with a pump on the end. If this looks familiar to you, it's because that's exactly how the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue is packaged. Squeezy tube with a pump on the end. So a very, very familiar look. Before I start applying the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I'm putting together my thoughts on this and I do have some already, but I'm gonna have a full report probably in a couple of weeks. One thing I have learned is to just use one pump with this primer. Elsewise, it just gets too thick and really kind of builds up on the skin. It does have an incredibly yummy, fresh, kind of lemony vanilla scent. It's really nice. Here, let's go ahead and bring you guys on in here so you can see the details. I'm going to prep my under eyes with my Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius Corrector. What I have done, because I've heard from so many of you that this is a dupe for the Becca under eye corrector, which is now marketed by Smashbox, I've gone ahead and put it in my Sephora cart. I haven't placed my order yet, but as soon as that comes in, I'm definitely going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this under eye corrector and the Becca. I'm going to go ahead and start with one pump on the back of my hand, and you can see it's just running down a little bit. So not a real light formula, but not real heavy or moussey either. I'm going to dot that around my face. I can already see I'm going to need another pump. I'm going to go ahead and apply this exactly how I do all my other foundations. With a brush first, I'm going to use my refer brush and then I'm going to go ahead and tap it out with my sponge. This is my refer 31 brush. I really do love this brush for foundation. So it feels light on the skin and it is blending in really smoothly. Look at how well already it's covered up my age spots over on the side here. See what it does up here. So far it's blended in really smoothly. It feels light on the skin. Right now there isn't another foundation that I can recall in my collection that this is reminding me of. This feels a little bit different. It has some unique qualities that I don't have in my other foundations. I'm gonna put on just a tiny bit more on the sides of my face where my age spots can often pop through 
and a little bit on my chin and on my nose. And with that additional application, I'm just going to go ahead and press it in with my sponge and then start working that foundation over the skin. I always finish up my foundation application by pressing my sponge into it. It just seems to give the prettiest look on the skin. It really smooths in the foundation, presses it into my complexion, and just looks seamless. So here's the foundation on the skin. It's very, very pretty. I'll have to say that the finish is really nice. It just has the slightest bit of dewy finish to it, which is my perfect foundation finish. I really do like just a little bit of glow on my skin when I finished applying my foundation. It has done a better job of covering up my age spots than I would have thought because this is a light to medium coverage foundation but it did build up really nicely. It doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. One of the things that I am noticing is that it really has evened out my skin tone. I know the box had some pretty wild claims about that, but it really has, and that's one thing that I think is a little bit different than some of the other foundations that I love. This really has given my face a very even look as far as the coloring goes. Really pretty so far doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It does feel like I have something on my skin. In other words, it's not completely weightless, but it feels very comfortable and not dry or cakey at all. I have just a little bit of peeling going on with my nose because I'm doing some exfoliating in my skincare routine. It's hanging on to that a little bit, but not a lot. That's definitely an uneven texture issue on my complexion not the foundation itself. I'm gonna go ahead and let that foundation really settle into my skin and do my eyes next. Anastasia of Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. That's the longest name. <laughs> that name is so long. If I said ABH, would you know exactly what I was talking about? I wonder about that all the time. Just a dot on my finger, and that's gonna go in between both eyes. Today for eyes, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. Clearly, this is not a new product. It's been around forever, and it's iconic in the Charlotte Tilbury line. I went ahead and picked it up just because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Here we have the swatches. You can see it's a very, very pretty palette, neutral with a pink undertone. What I'm curious to see is if I'm going to like this formula as much as I like the Star Aura palette formula and the formula in the Pretty Blushed Beauty Face Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love both of those eyeshadow formulas. I'm going to start with this soft pink tone right up here in the upper corner and that's going to go in the transition area right above my natural crease. What I have found from the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows when they're the formula I like, in other words when they're not really sparkly, is that putting together an eye look, oh my gosh, is just so very easy. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down really softly onto the movable lid. So I started in the transition area and then what is left on my brush, I'm just bringing it down to the movable lid. Now I'm going to take this same brush, this is the BK Beauty 202 brush, and I'm going to dip it into this deeper brown right here. Get a little bit just on the tip of those bristles, tap it off, and that's going to go in the outside corner of my eye and down along the lash line just a little bit. Just working that deep into the crease in the outside corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take my Angie Big Fluffy 503 brush and just really blend those colors in together. Now I'm going to dip my finger into this shimmer shade up here in the top corner Get a little bit of that on my finger and that's going to go right on the movable lid about two thirds of the way in and just blend it in with that darker shade a little bit towards the outside corner. This palette is so easy to work with. That's what I was saying earlier. Putting together an eyeshadow look with the Charlotte Tilbury formulas, the ones I like, is just so quick. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush again and I'm just going to blend right in that edge between the movable lid and the transition area so it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to get wild and dip that big fluffy brush into this shimmer shade down here. This is one of the Charlotte Tilbury toppers that's more of just a glaze 
over the whole eye. So I'm just going to very lightly blend that in to the full lid from movable lid up to my eyebrow. This type of topper shade is what gives that really ethereal look to the eyeshadow. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, and I know that I generally don't like shimmer for my more mature lids, but this seems to work okay. Just a very beautiful, subtle, sophisticated eye look. For corrector, I'm using the Dior Forever Skin Correct. Just love this corrector. So easy to work with. Always performs really well. This is my BK Beauty 205 brush, and I always just tap the concealer in with this brush before I go in with my sponge. I thought we'd continue the nod to Charlotte Tilbury today, and I'm going to use the Film Star Bronze and Glow, or Bronzer and Highlight today. I do like this palette. I don't think it's one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. This is the little travel size. That, of course, is less expensive than the full size. And you can see, even though it looks light in the pan, it does a beautiful job of really creating some nice depth. To contour under my chin, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in the color Amber. And you could see right there, just that one line, how that really does create a shadow underneath my chin. I'm going to go in with my sponge and just blend that in along the edges. I'm really excited about this blush from Laura Geller. I did order some Laura Geller products. I just got them in this week. This was one of the items in that order. Isn't that just the prettiest blush? Oh, that marbleization is just beautiful. This is in the color Tropic Hues. Where do you see how pretty that is? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Peachy pink with a little bit of shift. Definitely right up my alley. Go ahead and tap into this and then onto the skin. Oof, oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see that as clearly as I can. It is so pretty. That is such a beautiful peachy pink tone. Mmm. I'm so glad I got this color. I'm so excited about that color. It is so pretty. Mmm. And just the right amount of glow to it as well. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I really like that. So we've got glowy cheeks. I don't think I need a lot of highlighter, but I can't resist. <laughs> I'm going to dip into this Film Star Bronze and Glow palette, pick up a little bit of highlighter, and that's just going to go right on the tops of the cheeks and a little bit in the front. Of course, can't forget my little nose there as well. Mmm. And I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter and just lightly brush that underneath my brow. Back in with my fluffy brush to blend that in. I think the complexion is looking really good right now. That foundation is very, very pretty right now. That's for sure. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've gone ahead and lined my eyes, curled my lashes, and tight lined. Today I used the L'Oreal Lay Liner in the color Brown Denim. If you like this liner and you haven't picked up the brown yet, I would really recommend it. It's a beautiful color. It does give a lot of definition to the eye in a little softer way than the Noir Cashmere, which is the black version in this line. I have primed my eyes with the Lancome Seals Booster. Now we're going to use the tiny little sample of the Pillow Top push-up lashes. Haven't used this, haven't even opened this. You can see it's a little bitty tube. It's kind of a squeezy tube. Oh, and all right, there's the wand right there. Let's see how this works out today. Here we have one coat with the push-up lashes. You can see it right here and the eyelashes with no mascara. And here we have two coats on both lashes. For lips today, I'm going to be using the Honeymoon from Huda Beauty and the Blushing from LA Girl Lip Liners. I love these LA Girl Lip Liners and they're so affordable. The color that I reach for the most is this color, Blushing. It seems to go with everything. You can see them right here. This is the Lip Liner Blushing and then this is the Lipstick 
honeymoon. Here we have the lip color. Here we have the finished look. All right, I have thoughts and you guys knew I would. This foundation on my skin at this moment looks beautiful. It really does. Here are the standout features about this particular foundation. First of all, when it says evens out skin tone, it really did on my skin. That was one of the most dramatic things that I saw when I applied this over my face, is that it really did create a very consistent canvas for me to apply the rest of my makeup on. The other thing that I am totally in love with with this foundation is the finish on my skin. I like my skin to be a little bit dewy, a little bit glowy. I just think that it helps my skin look fresher and brighter. So this finish for my skin is spot on perfect. It really is. And I know that sounds a little bit dramatic, but this is the finish that I go for. The only other foundation that I am using right now that I love the finish as much as this one is my Dior Forever Skin Glow. So far, this is setting really, really nicely on my skin. I do have a long day today. I'm gonna to put in the comments down below a little synopsis of what it looked like at the end of the day. I'll definitely check in with you guys in the comments below about that. I picked up the color 3 Neutral. From the other reviews that I've watched on this foundation, apparently the color range can get a little deep and a little orange pretty quickly as you go down into the line. I'm fairly light, so 3 Neutral ended up being a perfect color for me. So if you think you're close to my skin tone, this one is really working for my skin coloring. Right now, my impression of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, really, really loving it. The Pillow Talk Quad, oh my gosh, the buzz is real. <laughs> this is really, really good. One of the things that I love about the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow formulas, the ones that don't have all the sparkle in them, the ones like this, they put together an incredibly beautiful eye look so quickly with minimal blending. I don't have to be super careful when I'm working with the Charlotte Tilbury formulas because they just go on the lids so beautifully it almost seemed to blend themselves. They're really magical. I had used this palette once before in a really quick makeup day and then I was out the door so I didn't have a real opportunity to examine how my eyeshadow looked. Today I did. I think this is a gorgeous look. Very pretty, very sophisticated. That's one of the things I can say about the Charlotte Tilbury formulas that work for my more mature lids, the one without the sparkles. I know I've said that a million times but I want to make sure I'm clear on that, is that they really do work for my lids. The shadows look pretty. It creates kind of that ethereal glow. My experience is that you're not going to get the richness and depth and the wide range of colors in the Charlotte Tilbury palettes that you do, let's say, in the Natasha Denona palettes. But I think the formula always works, always looks pretty, and is so very easy to do. I'm adding the Pillow Top Quad as one of my favorite little eyeshadow palettes. And the Laura Geller Blush in Tropic Hues. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was love at first use. Look at how beautiful that glow is on my skin. And what I like about it is the fact that you can really tell that I have this rosy, peachy glow on my cheeks without it being too strong or too obvious. It's just one of those magical formulas. This is just the prettiest color and that little bit of shift and shimmer to it, wow. It lays on the skin really nicely. It looks glorious. Absolutely loving this little blush from Laura Geller. And the tiny little sample of the push-up lashes from Charlotte Tilbury, this is in the Pillow Talk line. I like this formula. What it's reminding me of is my two favorite mascaras right now, which is, of course, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. That's been my favorite for a long time. And also the Benefit Rollerball. I just used that a few days ago. It acts to me like the Maybelline Sky High. This does the same thing length, volume, really, really nicely. I haven't looked at what the price of the full size is in this. I would imagine it's a lot more expensive than the Maybelline Sky High and the Benefit. So if you're looking for this type of look in your eyelashes, you can pick this up, probably a little bit more affordable, or the Maybelline Sky High or the Benefit Roller Ball. Or is it Roller Lash? I think it's Roller Lash. 
<laughs> it was so fun for me to try the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. My impression so far is that it is a beautiful addition to the foundation world. I hope you found this video fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You just made my day by taking a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.